Loading the game. Wait for me. Bastila. What Karth, why are you running? Karth. Karth, you're not invited. Go away. You there, Padawan. Why are you not wearing the customary robes of the Jedi? Do you mock the honored traditions of our order? Um... Bastila. I have heard of her. They say she has already mastered the art of battle meditation. Remarkable in one so young. Though I've heard she has a foolish pride in her own talents. But as for you, you claim you are not a Padawan? I find this hard to believe. The Force is strong within you. I can feel its presence. Yeah, I bet you can. Type of jest is in very poor taste. The Jedi Order is not a subject for jokes. I'm telling the truth. Please forgive the abruptness with which I first greeted you. It was harsh and perhaps unfair. My master often warns me that I must learn to control my emotions. I see I have much left to learn. You do. A pleasant stay here on Dantu. May the Force be with you. And may the Force be with you. Jackass. Alright, so, Karth, you're not in here, right? Because, you... okay, there you are. They're waiting for you inside. You weren't supposed to be here, Karth. You weren't invited. Ah, so you are the one who rescued Bastila. It is appropriate you are here. We have been discussing your rather special case. I'm special. A member of the Jedi Council. How are you doing, Jar? Master Vrook, Master Vandar, and of course the chronicler of our academy, Master Doran. Padawan Bastila, I am sure you are already familiar with. Yes. Wait. What do you want of me? Bastila tells us you are strong in the Force. We are considering you for Jedi training. Say what? <clears throat> Master Jar speaks out of turn, perhaps. We need indisputable proof of your strong affinity to the Force before we would even consider accepting you for training. Proof? <laughs> Surely the entire Council can feel the strength of the Force within this man. And I've already related to you the events that took place on Terrace. Perhaps it was simple luck. We both know there is no luck. There is only the Force. Yeah. We Beach. all feel the power in Bastila's companion, though it is wild and untamed. Now that this power has begun to manifest itself, can we safely ignore it? No, you cannot. training is long and difficult, even when working with a young and open mind. Teaching a child is hard. How much harder will it be for an adult to learn the ways of the Jedi? Hmm. I'm ready to accept the training. Such pride, such arrogance. <laughs> this one is already on the path to the dark side. As are many who are not given proper training, Master Wu. Only through our guidance can we hope to lead those who have strayed back to the path of the light. Traditionally, the Jedi do not accept adults for training, though there are rare exceptions in the history of our order. But you are a special case. I'm a special case. Many of our own pupils are leaving the Jedi Order to follow the Sith teachings. We need recruits to stand against Malak. With Revan dead. Are you certain Revan is truly dead? What if we undertake to train this one and the Dark Lord should return? We should discuss this matter more fully in private. Bastila, you and your companion must go. This is a matter for the Council alone. As you wish, Master Vandal. We shall return to the Evan Hawk and leave you to your deliberations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Jedi and your deliberations. Oh, look, more dreams. Spoopy dreams. What's this I see? <clears throat> Hmm. Think, 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 think. The dark side is strong in this place. I can feel its power. Is this wise? 
The ancient Jedi sealed this archway. If we pass beyond this door, we can never go back. The Order will surely banish us. Are the secrets of the Starforge so valuable? Can its power truly be worth the risk? Apparently so, because Revan's just like, bitch, I'm doing what I want. This one's getting stranger by the minute. First Bastila comes out looking like she saw a ghost, and now you. Well, Bastila did mention that you should go to the council chambers before she left. It's no doubt urgent, so you shouldn't keep them waiting. Uh, did you say anything? No, I got a rough night. I haven't exactly been sleeping well myself. No, she didn't. She didn't seem well, as I recall, and for that matter, neither do you. Are you alright? I had a rough night. You got it. Yeah, I just need I just need Karth. Oh, something seems to be bothering him. Yeah, Let's talk. I just want to talk. I just don't understand why you don't trust me. What does it matter that much? Why can't you just leave it be? I just don't trust easily. But for good reasons. Which are my own. Um... Yeah, we work together, dude. I suppose I won't get any rest until I talk, but... You want to know why I don't trust anyone? Fine. Here goes. Five years ago, the Jedi had just finished the war with the Mandalorians. Yes. Uh-huh. Of course. Completely unexpected when they turned on us. Well, duh. Republic, while we were still weak. Uh -huh. Nobody knew what to think. At least of all me. Yes. Our heroes had become brutal, conquering Sith. Mm. And we were all but helpless before. I mean, think about it. If you can't even trust the best of the Jedi, who can you trust? To shreds, you say. How is she holding up? Um. It's not that. It's... That's not what I mean. There were there were others, good, solid, trusted men who joined them. Malak and Revan and the Sith deserve to die for what they've done. But the ones who fled the Republic and joined them are even worse. The dark side has nothing to do with why they joined with the Sith. They deserve no mercy. Damn! You say that with such hatred. I know. I know. And I should apologize to you. I've, I've become so accustomed to expecting the worst in others, and you've done nothing to deserve that. Damn right I haven't. Let's just continue with what we were doing. I'd rather not talk about it. I will find out answers, Karth. One day. Level up. Attributes. Strength. Skills. Um, you're gonna get the, uh, me, uh, you're gonna get the improved rapid fire, cause, you know. What? Okay, let's do the thing. We got some Jedi, we got some this, we got some of that. Do -ba -do -ba -do. The temple. Let's go exploring. Balea. <laughs> Master. How does she know? A vision of Malak and Revan in the ancient ruins here on Dantooine. Oh. These ruins have long been known to us, but we believe them to be merely burial mounds. Perhaps they're more than we first suspected. If Revan and Malak found something there. Uh huh. Um, yeah. Yeah, how would she know we shared a dream? She says she has felt your presence within the dream. The presence she has felt within you. Ever since... Mr. Vandar. Ever since Taurus. It is not unknown for this to happen between two people strong in the Force. Bastila has described this shared dream to the Council in great detail. We feel it is more than a dream. It is a vision. The Force is acting through you, as it acts through Bastila. Did I get the Force permission? I'm having visions now. You and Bastila share a powerful connection to the Force. New Wii U. This is not unheard of. Connections often form between master and student. 
But rarely does a bond develop so quickly. Whatever dangers may lie ahead, we cannot ignore the destiny that has brought you and Bastila here to us. Together. Uh-huh. Are you saying I'm joined with her? You and she are linked, as is your fate to hers. Together, you two may be able to stop Darth Malak and the Sith. May, like may. Your be filled with visions of glory and power. Such thoughts are the path to the dark side. Yes. The way of the light is long and difficult, as you must learn. Are you ready for such hardship? I am ready for whatever awaits. Understand that there is little choice in this matter, for you or us. Across the galaxy, the numbers of our order dwindled. Yes. We have sent many Jedi in quest of a way to thwart Malak's advance. Many have not returned. The Sith hunt the Jedi down like animals, ambushing and assassinating our brothers wherever they are found. We fear it is only a matter of time until they discover even this hidden refuge. Oh no. The Jedi have fallen from the light and embraced the dark side. Giving their allegiance to the Sith and Malak, their Dark Lord. Why are they turning? The lure of the Dark Side is not easy to resist. Malak's power grows as more and more planets fall to his conquering armies. If Malak is not stopped, the Republic will fall. Yes. And the Jedi will be hunted to extinction. Of course. The galaxy will enter a time of darkness and tyranny. Not seen for a thousand generations. That's a long time. The council has decreed that you and Bastila must investigate the ancient ruins you dreamed of. Once the council deems you ready, perhaps oh. there you will find some clue, some explanation of how Revan and Malak were corrupted, and perhaps there you shall find a way to stop them. Yes, yes. The force flows through you like no student we have ever seen. But you're willful and headstrong. A dangerous combination. Yeah, don't worry. Before we send you to investigate the ruins. You must be trained in the ways of the Jedi. So that you can resist the darkness within yourself. Within all of us. Otherwise you are doomed to fail. As you wish. You must begin your training at once. You have a destiny upon you that you must be prepared to face. The entire fate of the galaxy is upon you. I can only hope no pressure. to prove up to the task. The path you have chosen to walk is difficult. Training time! The intensive training will prepare you physically for the demands of the Order. Meditation will teach you to channel the power of the Force. To truly understand the way of the Jedi, you must open your mind to knowledge. <laughs> what a montage. In the teachings of the great masters of our Order. The Jedi is never alone. Others in the Order will always stand by you. You and Bastila share a special bond. Do not be afraid to turn to her when you need help in your training. The way of the Jedi is difficult. <clears throat> it requires great discipline. Yet even though you are a mere apprentice, Jesus. your potential is unlimited. Two chairs and a data pad. Progress. In all my years, I have never seen one who has mastered the initial training so quickly. You've done in weeks what many cannot do in years. Okay, so weeks have passed. I am honored to welcome you fully into the Jedi Order. Thank you. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first, you must prove yourself worthy. Bring it. In the traditions and customs of our order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations, you must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place among the Jedi. Bring it! These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to padawan, and okay. join the ranks of the Jedi. Okay. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide your actions. In everything you do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. You must prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the Code. Return when you feel you are ready for this challenge. Jedi Code, huh? Greetings, my young pupil. Your progress has been most remarkable so far. 
Are you here to continue your training in the ways of the Jedi? Uh, I am. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan. Padawan. The rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first, you must prove yourself worthy in the traditions and customs of our Order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations. You must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place among the Jedi. I'm ready for these tests. These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide your actions. In everything you do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. You yes, yes, yes. Prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the code by completing these fundamental precepts of our order. There is no emotion. There is peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. There is no passion. There is serenity. There is no peace. Ah. Serenity. Mal. There is harmony. There is no death. There is only the force. You have learned your studies well, apprentice. It will not be long before you are a full member of our order. But first, you must pass the second test and learn about the most prized possession of a Jedi. The very symbol of our order. The lightsaber. My nerdiness the showed through when I knew that. Of our order. It is a symbol of a Jedi's skill, dedication, and authority. And each lightsaber is as individual as the Jedi who wields it. The blade is made of pure energy, focused by polished crystals in the hilt. Give me my saber! Each Jedi must construct his lightsaber with his own hands. And now it is your time. Speak with Master Dorak, and he will guide you through the choosing of a crystal. Yes, yes, yes. Give me my fucking saber. I want my saber. Oops. Keep forgetting the, there's no jump button. Dorak! Ah, you have come, young apprentice, at Master Zar's bidding. I have. I do. As do I. Yes. The time has come for you to choose the color of your lightsaber. This color also reflects your demeanor and position within the order. Blah, blah, blah. Blue is the color of the Jedi Guardian. This Jedi battles against the forces of evil and the dark side. Yeah. Uh -huh. They focus more on combat training and use of the lightsaber. Yes. Yellow is the color of the Jedi Sentinel. This Jedi ferrets out deceit and injustice, bringing it to light. They focus less on combat and more on other skills and abilities. Green is the color of the Jedi Consular. This Jedi seeks to bring balance to the universe. They mediate between other groups, using their powers to end conflict. Peace. Um, okay, if I remember correctly, my character. Let's see. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Um, deep. Thinking, 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 um... If I remember correctly, he was a guardian. Indeed. We shall see. I will now ask you questions, and your responses will indicate which class you lean most towards. Okay. A woman and her small child are beset by a desperate-looking group of thugs. Damn these thugs. Weapons, and she screams to you for help. What do you do? I help them play. Indeed. Very well. On to the next question. You are in combat with a dark Jedi. Yeah. With the Sith. Yes. There is a pause in the combat. What do you do? Um. 
Try to see a weakness in his technique. What's that mean? There is a locked door, and your goal lies on the other side. What do you do? What do I do? Um, get me honest. I'm, I'm gonna knock. I am beginning to see a pattern here, apprentice. I have a feeling about what you would be best at. But first, the final question. Dun dun dun. The head of an enclave on a contested world. The dark Jedi have yes. and are causing unrest across the planet. What do you do? Hmm. I'd coordinate the planet. Yes, I thought as much. Of course you did. I suspected you would be most suitable as a Jedi Sentinel. Which color and path do you believe yourself most suited to, apprentice? Hmm. It's not gonna matter because when I get when I get later on, I'm gonna change my saber colors anyway because I have a you know a fetish for certain colors. Um. Yeah, screw it. Let's go with green. I never had done that one. And I do a green crystal for your lightsaber. Go speak to Master Jar again and he will instruct you on how to construct it. There was no actual canon class for my character. So maybe that could be it. Yeah, I could probably use some repair points. Yay. Okay, I need to do some what's this? Dueling, yeah, I need that, because for a while I'm gonna be using a lightsaber. Powers. I could use. I'm, I'm gonna be that asshole. I'm gonna add cure and shock. Because I'm that asshole. I need one dark side power to go with my good side. Ah, good. Now that you have selected your crystal, yes, we shall begin the construction of your lightsaber. Won't. Give me my saber. I want my lightsaber. I'm getting my lightsaber. Gimme, 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 gimme. Give me that snap piss. Give me that snap piss. Yes. Come on. Yeah. 